Hi, welcome to Ghostman Radio Station. And today I am talking to Liam Needham. And we're talking about how to create success by rebalancing your brain. Welcome, you might recall that in a previous episode, me, uh, we had Liam as a guest to talk about the brain and how to use it in the right way to achieve our goals. Well, it was such a fascinating topic. But there was so much we didn't manage to cover. So I brought Liam back for another episode in which we're going to learn a lot more about how our brain works and why it's the key to getting the results we want in our life. We're also going to share with us a process called Neuro State Rebalancing, NSR, which enables you to solve problems, overcome challenges and reach your goals efficiently and effectively. So, Liam, can you explain what you mean by rebalancing your brain? Yeah, hi there, uh, <clears throat> ghost man. Liam here. Thank you very much for having me back on your show. Rebalancing your brain, it sounds a bit of a weird concept, doesn't it? But um, the, as we talked about last time, I think one of the things we first need to realise is just how powerful our brain is. I mean, it literally is the most powerful computer that's ever been designed or that exists in the entire world. It's thousands of times, millions of times more powerful than any computer. So when we realize that and we realize that it's got this enormous power, the question is, how do we use it? The, first, the next thing we need to realize is that it actually we can use it in a specific way because the brain, despite all its power, it is just a machine. <clears throat> and it has a very specific purpose, which we talk, again we talked about in the last time I was on the show, but the purpose of your brain is to make sure that you live your best life possible, living the best that you can be. And for it to do that, it has to work in a particular way. It has to work the right way. If you're going to use it the wrong way, like any machine, you're not going to get the right results. So it's very important to learn how to use the brain. And that's what what, um, I mean by rebalancing the brain is literally getting the, the various parts of your brain working in the ways that they're, des- they're supposed to work, that they're designed to work, rather than what most people are doing, unfortunately, which is using them using their brain the wrong way. And, of course, like any machine, if you use it the wrong way, you're going to get problems. And that's, that's really the cause of problems in life. <coughs> so there are literally four parts to the brain. And, and what those four p- parts are, in simple terms... We have the thinking brain, the thinking part of our brain, the emotional part of our brain, or the feeling part. We have the um, mechanical brain, or the survival brain. That's the part of the brain that does all the, keeps all our body and, and things operating. And then we have a fourth part called our creative brain. And this is really the most important and powerful part that we need to use and start using to really get our life working the right way because this is the part that is responsible for intuition and creativity and imagination and problem solving and all of those things that we need to really have our ideal life. So when I say rebalance your brain, what it is basically is to get that part of your brain driving the ship, which as I say to most people, it's not. What is the right way to use your brain? Well, the right way to use it, <clears throat> as I just mentioned, is to, to recognize that there are two, two ways you can use your brain, really. One is you can live in a fear state. And unfortunately, this is what most people, how they're operating. They're feeling fear, worry, anxiety a lot of the time. But when you use your brain that way, what you're actually doing is you're activating something called the sympathetic nervous system which is solely about your survival and problem solving and reacting. So it's the fight, flight, freeze mechanism you might have heard of, your listeners might have heard of. And when you operate from that state, you can't solve problems effectively and you can't be creative and you can't be resourceful and you can't do the right things. All you can do is react to to anything that's going on in your environment. So... That's the wrong way to use your brain. The right way 
is the state when you're actually living your life purpose. And that's when you solve problems effectively and where you stop creating more problems. And that's called the creative state. And that's activating the creative part of your brain. So that's the right way. And, and really, most people are unhappy because they're using their brain the wrong way. And they're trying to force results rather than allowing their creative brain to, to bring them the results. Can you give that some samples sense. of using the brain the right way and the wrong way? Right. Well, using your brain the right way, when you use it the right way, life actually becomes a lot easier. It doesn't mean you don't put an effort, but you put more of the right effort in. So when you're using your brain the right way, you find yourself acting on gut feelings, and you make the right decisions, and you can see what the right answers to problems are, which is, is a big issue for many people. You can't literally see what, the, what to do in a situation, but when you're using your brain the right way, you can see the right thing to do. And just as importantly, you stop making the wrong decisions. You stop making mistakes. You stop doing things that actually, in hindsight, you wish you hadn't done. And I guess we've always been, all been there. And when you're using the, your brain the right way, you also get lots of new ideas. You feel inspired. You feel motivated. These are all examples of living your brain and using your brain in the right way and living in a way that I'm sure your listeners would agree is a lot more effective and a lot more fun, <laughs> if you like, and a lot more enjoyable in your life. But using the wrong way, what, well, what happens when you use your brain the wrong way? Well, you make bad decisions. But just as, just as, as well as making bad decisions, when you're struggling, when you're stressed, when you're trying to reach goals, that, and when you're trying to force things to happen, these are all things, these are all examples of using your brain the wrong way, and are all signs that you're using the your brain the wrong way. How do we do this and how do we start using our brain the right way? Well, I guess the conclusion you, you come to, isn't it, that you need to find a way to live in this state, <coughs> excuse me, where you make the right decisions and you stop making mistakes. In other words, you need to find a way to activate your creative brain as much as possible. In fact, you need to start living from your creative brain rather than avoiding doing all the struggle and making um, bad decisions that come from using your brain the wrong way. So it sounds like it's difficult to do, but, it, but once you understand how your brain works, it does become simpler. And of course, I've created a process called neurostate rebalancing, which helps you get into this creative state, into using your brain the right way a lot more easily. But the key thing to realize is, from that, is that when you're in this state of struggle, what you're actually doing is you're activating something called your sympathetic nervous system, which makes you feel fear and anxiety. And when you feel fear and anxiety, you can't use your brain the right way. So, oh, we got a visitor. There we go. So, um, you have a friend there, or are you barking? Yeah, I'm sorry about that. No worries. So, uh, you want me to carry on? Yeah, carry on. Yeah. Okay, so, using your brain the right way, which being in your creative state, which is overcoming fear and anxiety at the heart of it, I mean, people, there are lots of ways you can do it. Some people try and do it with by drinking or smoking things. <laughs> or watching some mindless entertainment. But all of those are temporary ways to make you feel better and to put you um, out of your fear state. And they don't really do anything positive long-term for you, and they don't help, help you access your true power. They help you feel a bit distracted, but you're not necessarily going to come up with the right solutions or feel motivated to, to do the right things. So you need to find a way to retrain your brain to stop feeling the fear that makes you feel bad and makes you struggle. And to recognize that, we, as I say, when you feel anxious, when you feel stressed, you can't deal with your problems. It's not the way your brain works. <clears throat> what is neurostate rebalancing? Okay, well, I've talked, talked about this need to stay in this creative state 
this uh, state where you can actually make the right decisions, be inspired, stop making the wrong decisions, solve your problems, do all the right things, and stay out of this fear state. People say, well, how do you do that? Because there's all this terrible, all these terrible things going on in my life or in the world. How can I possibly stay out of your fears? How can I possibly not be afraid? <coughs> Well, the thing to realize is you cannot be afraid because the reason you're feeling afraid is simply messages that you're giving your brain. And if you give your brain different messages and a different way of operating, it won't make you feel afraid. Beautiful. It's as simple as that. So what neurostate rebalancing is, is it's a simple process which retrains your brain to make sure that you operate from your creative state so that you can find the right solutions to your problems and really find out what's stopping you from being the best you can be. So what, how it works is it trains your brain to see the difference between what, what a real danger is and what an imaginary danger is. So for instance, you know, your dog about to jump on you and bite you, <laughs> which is, I hope he's not about to, but uh, <laughs> um, that's a real danger. That's something you should be afraid of. But... But imagining that one day your dog might jump on you and, and bite you, that's, not a, that's something you shouldn't be afraid of. Yet most of the time, what, we're, what people are afraid of is that it's more of an imaginary fear. So what neurostate rebalancing does is it, it separates in your brain the difference between things you really should be afraid of and things that you shouldn't. And there are seven steps in the process. And as I say, it enables you to then operate most of the time from this creative state rather than a fearful state. Is this like some mineral mind control or are you programming your brain in any way? No, no, fortunately, you know, I've done all of that stuff. I've done all the um, trying different ways to change your brain waves and brain thinking or changing your beliefs or doing affirmations or, or reprogramming your brain. And all of those are actually a lot of work and they're not very effective, I've certainly found. So what neurostate rebalancing is, it's nothing like that at all. There's no meditation, there's no hypnosis. Um, you don't have to repeat positive statements. You don't have to do any repetition at, at all, actually. And it's not really about changing your thoughts or your beliefs. It's, in fact, it's not really something you even need to practice at all, although if you do the process, the more you do it, the, the, the more effective it will be. But you can literally do it once. It's, it's just a process that you can use to deal with any problem that you're facing to get your brain to see your situation in a different way so it can start to deal with the issues that you're facing. And as I keep saying, you can't solve the problem when you're stressed and worried because you're blocking off the part of your brain that that is designed to solve those problems. So this isn't about, re as a, to summarize, it's not about reprogramming. It's just a process that you can use effectively to get your brain working in a different way. If people are dealing with problems in their life, how will NSR help them? Well, it's interesting, isn't it? I, I do a lot of coaching and helping people and helping them use this process. And of course, the problem is, if you like, that most people are trying to solve their problems when they're, when they're worried and stressed because their problems are making them feel worried and stressed. But they would also agree, and I'm sure your listeners would agree, that feeling worried and stressed doesn't actually help. It, it, they, they're not things that help you to be effective. All that really happens is you create more stress in your life, more struggle, more effort. So if people are dealing with problems, NSR is going to help them firstly to actually see what the real answer to their problem is. Because many people are struggling just not knowing what to do, and they try and do something that turns out to be the wrong answer. But your brain, when, you, when it's operating from this, this powerful state, it can see the right answer to the problem. So that's a major benefit of NSR to start with. And you'll not only see exactly what you should do to solve the problem as well, you'll also see what you shouldn't do. And this is a major benefit that people find. They make a lot fewer mistakes when they're using their brain the right way. But it's also about not just 
and seeing what the right answer is and what you should do and what you shouldn't do. But you've also got to, to, to be motivated enough and inspired enough to actually do it. And this is sometimes where people become unstuck as well, isn't it? You can see, yes, I need to do that, and I know I should do it, and I know what to do, but I just can't get myself up to doing it. When you, with NSR, when you're in this brain state, which is your natural state, by the way, you'll automatically feel motivated and inspired, and you'll find yourself just taking the right actions. And you'll also find that you you have a lot less effort in reaching whatever goal you have or whatever problem you're trying to solve, because you are just doing the right things. You're not struggling doing the wrong things. So you're going to take the, the right actions, and you're going to enjoy the process a lot more. And you're also going to find, remember I said at the beginning, the brain is a this infinitely powerful computer. So the, your brain is going to find the right resources for you. You're going to find the right people and uh, opportunities, situations, ideas. All of these are going to show up in your life that you, can, that you can use to help you. So it's a, it's a much better way to live where you actually start living with certainty and, and excitement rather than, than being stressed and just hoping that things are going to work out. And this is all about what you're designed to do. It's about what your brain is designed to give you so that you're on track. You're living your life purpose. You're being the best that you can be. These are all the benefits. How can people learn NSR? I've actually got a complete coaching program which <clears throat> teaches them all about neurostate rebalancing or NSR and how to use it and apply it effectively. Um, this particular coaching program I have, it's called Rebalance Your Brain for Success. And it, it, there's really three parts to it. first part is learning in, in greater detail about what your brain is and how it works and how to use it the right way. And secondly, how to start looking at what's in your life currently that's stopping you from using your brain the right way. Because we don't realize that we, we allow these things to be operating in our life that automatically make us do the wrong things and have our brain working the wrong way. So part two of the coaching program is identifying those things and starting to eliminate those things that are blocking your success. And then when you do that, you move on to the neurostate rebalancing process in the, in the program, and you're in a much better place to be able to use this to really get your brain permanently working the way it should be to give you, you the results that you, that you want, that you're supposed to have. And um, I'd like to say something about the about the program. Actually, as I say, the seven steps in the NSR process. But people often ask, "Well, you know, um, sorry, I've lost my track of thought." There, <laughs> I'll hand it over to you again. So, no, no problem. What does the program consist of, and how much is it? Okay, it's it's an online course. So there's ten audio lessons and a workbook that people, when they sign up, they get instant access to the program. So it's, it's all done online and people can do it at their, in their own time and you know their own pace. And um, in, a, in addition to all of the things that I described about what's in the program, you ask about the, the cost. The normal price at the moment is $397. But I, what I'd like to offer your listeners if they've listened this, this far, <laughs> which I'm sure hopefully they have, I'd like to offer them a special discount of 20% off if they'd like to enroll in the program. And all they need to do, they just go to the website, um, liamnaden.com, sign up to the program, and then just put in a code GHOSTMAN um, when they come, come to the checkout page. And that will give them an automatic $80 discount or $20 off the normal price. And which is really, when, when you think about it, really just the price of two or three sessions with a life coach. But now you'll have access to a, to a complete program for really taking control of your life and, and getting your brain working the right way. And I'd also like to offer something else. And I, I haven't really uh, mentioned this to anyone, or I, this isn't something I normally do, but I don't, have, and I'm, I don't know how you feel about this, but for the first five of your listeners who, who purchase the program, I'd also like to offer them a free 30-minute private coaching call with me and 
I can really help them dig deep into if they're facing an issue in their life or if they'd just like to take control of their life and make it much better than it is. I'm, I'll be able to really drill deep and very specifically help them to make some significant changes to, to the way they see their life and the way they're operating their life. So that's just for the first five people. But again, if they just use that code GHOSTMAN so that I know that it's come from you and um, we can schedule a call with them at a time that suits and that will really help them accelerate even more into becoming in control of their life. Where can they sign up? Yes, just, just visit my website, liamnaden.com, and look for the program Rebalance Your Brain for Success. And uh, don't forget to use that code, GHOSTMAN, for the 20% discount. Right, is there anything you'd like to add in closing? Well, I hope people have got a bit of an idea that really the only thing they need to have everything they want in their life is just to use the, this machine called their brain the right way. You know, it, it, it took me a lifetime, <laughs> a long time, trying all sorts of things before I feel, finally realized that the brain is the key to everything. It is an infinitely powerful machine, and it really is all you need to succeed in life. You've got everything you need. You know, you're supposed to be happy. It's your biological purpose for being here. And your brain is the machine that's designed to give you that happy life. So you just need to know how to use that machine the right way. And I think the tragedy is none of us have been taught how to use our brain. We've all been taught how to drive a car or use our computer. And we all know that if you, if you want to use a car or a computer and you wanted to get it to work properly, you need to learn how to use it. But we've never been taught that about the, the most powerful um, machine in the world, which is our brain. And that's really my mission, is to help as many people as possible to learn how to use their brain the right way and, and achieve the life that they really have always wanted and, and, and really should have. Well, thank you for coming back on, uh, Liam. Uh, I'm glad that we've got delved a bit deeper. And what I'm going to do is put the link of the website on my YouTube channel, and put in the what you have to do and the vibe bit and the ghostman bit, and it's entirely up to you. But I would definitely recommend that you do it because it's a very generous offer. And these days you don't get much offers these days, so it's always nice to take advantage of something that could help you in the long run. Right. And we've been listening to Liam and how to create success. By rebalancing your brain. The brain is a funny thing. We've got a subconscious brain that we never use. It's weird, isn't it? They say the subconscious is the, the bit where we dream. Our dream is playbacks of what we've done in the day. Normally it could be a bad dream because we might have done something. We might have messed up. I used the word messed up. I was going to use a rude word then, but I stopped myself. <laughs> Just in case YouTube would take it off. But... I, you know what I mean, we, we, like Liam said, we have to retrain our brain a little bit to how to cope with life. And I think the pandemic, as Liam will back me up on this, has taught us that if there's anything we have learned, we don't know ourselves really. Absolutely. That's a good way of putting it. And thank you again, Liam, for coming on. I, I do appreciate that you have a very busy life. And fitting someone in from a foreign country that lives in the holes in a little bungalow is quite nice that people talk to me. <laughs> oh, it's a pleasure. I really enjoy it. Thank you very much for the opportunity.